today we are going to be talking about the best ingredients for acne prone skin, for getting rid of acne and also preventing it. Hey guys, and welcome back to the Acne Channel. My name is Lavinia Rosanda. I'm also a creator here on YouTube. Now, as someone who has been struggling with cystic and hormonal acne for the past seven years, I have experienced basically all the different types of acne, as well as tried many different ingredients, skincare products, and all of that to try to help my acne out. And now I'm here today to tell you guys the best of the best and what ingredients you should be looking out for to fight off your acne. So for this video, I have kind of categorize the ingredients into two lists. The first list we're going to be talking about are top ranking in terms of fighting acne. You would probably see better and faster results from these ingredients. And then for the second section of ingredients, they are more acne supporting ingredients and a great complement in your skincare routine, but they're not that top ingredient that will fight your acne, but more support or the other ones. So let's get right on into this. Let's start off with the first list, which are the ingredients that have the most evidence behind them. And the first ingredient we're going to be talking about is retinoids. And in this category, really any topical vitamin A derived retinoid, whether that's retinol, retinol, and anything kind of within that umbrella family. Now within this, you might have heard of some different things such as tretinoin, also known as retinoic acid, is typically used as an oral medication for for acne that you can get prescribed. Also different forms like adapalene slash different, which are now an over-the-counter product, um, especially in America, not yet here in Canada. And another one you might have also heard of is tazarotene. Overall, any retinoid product is really, really sufficient at helping with wrinkles and fine lines. And that's why it's often associated with being an anti-aging product and not so much an acne fighting ingredient. But fun fact, retinoid products were originally kind of brought into the market to help teens that suffer with acne and once kind of there was evidence that it also helped with wrinkles and smoothing the skin it was introduced as an anti-aging ingredient but it is still nonetheless a great acne ingredient and there's a lot of options when it comes to retinoids you can go for a prescription base which of course will be a much stronger or you can go for something more over the counter and something more mild at a lower percentage and concentration and that's what i would recommend for more sensitive skin you know start off low see your skin tolerates it and you can build up from there if needed now benzoyl peroxide is definitely one of the most effective over the counter products for fighting acne and the reason it's so effective is because it kills bacteria exploits the skin and removes excess oil which a lot of times causes acne you can find products with benzoyl peroxide at concentrations between 2.5 and 10 percent and you can see this ingredient in cleansers spot treatments serums lotions gels or creams the only thing i will say with this one is not all skin types love it and it might not work for everyone and that's why i'm giving many different options of ingredients in this video today but also do not use this product while you're you know sleeping on your favorite pillowcase or wearing your favorite shirt because it can cause bleaching so just keep that in mind moving on to azelaic acid another you know great great ingredient when it comes to acne overall this kills bacteria and exfoliates and it mainly targets that pea acne and it's a great ingredient if you have moderate acne so maybe if you have like a more cystic and more severe acne you know maybe turn to those retinoid products but for something a bit more moderate azelaic acid might be a great option and there's definitely a lot of evidence defending it next one i want to talk about is ahas or alpha hydroxy acids so these acids do help to exploit dead skin cells which can help at reducing the pore size or at least giving the appearance of a reduced pore by unclogging it and overall that can help with breakouts too so ahas can really help exploit the skin for a smooth their complexion and kind of keep your acne at bay by exfoliating all that gunk out of your pores. Some of my favorite AHAs include glycolic acid. I really love the pumpkin enzyme mask from Banish. That one does have glycolic acid in it. It's a great product for acne prone skin since it will lightly exfoliate while keeping your breakouts at bay. And then I also really enjoy lactic acid too, especially if you have sensitive skin. This might just be a nice kind of lighter exfoliator um, that you can use. So I'm definitely a big fan of AHAs. And then we have BHAs or beta hydroxy acids. And my favorite within that family is salicylic acid. Now, salicylic acid is very, very popular when it comes to acne. And that is simply because it is an effective ingredient. 
So it is a powerful exfoliant that goes deep into the pores and really cleans all the gunk out. It's really great for blackheads and whiteheads. And it can also be anti-inflammatory. Now you can find this in cleansers, creams, serums, all of that, but you're only going to find it at a maximum of 2%. I also really like um, these spot treatments um, that come in like the little stickers that include salicylic acid, like the micro darts. Those are really, really awesome. And um, usually I do like to find a salicylic acid with a 2% concentration to really be more effective for my acne prone skin. But if you do have more sensitive skin or not as much acne, you can find products with a lower concentration as well. Next, tea tree. And this is one that maybe is not as popular as the rest. Now, first of all, I do wanna say, please do not put pure essential oils on your face. Never, ever, ever, ever. I love essential oils in my diffuser, but not so much right on my face. But when it comes to tea tree, you know, don't put the pure essential oil on your face, but if you can find some skincare products that incorporate tea tree, this can be a great product, especially if you have sensitive skin and acne. And this is because it's antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, it's calming, which also makes it good for eczema. And actually, Dr. Schultz does say that 5% tea tree oil can definitely be compared to 5 5% benzoyl peroxide and that similar results can be obtained. All right, so that is it for, you know, those top tier acne ingredients. Let's now move on to some of those acne supporting ingredients. The first one I want to talk about is sulfur. Yes, the element that smells like rotten eggs, that can actually be really good for acne. So overall, this can help decrease oil and inflammation. It can even exfoliate the skin and it is typically good for people with both acne and rosacea. You will just have to get over the scent of it though, but it can bring some good results. Next one I want to talk about is definitely one of my favorites and that is zinc. Zinc is anti-inflammatory and can definitely help with pigment, making it good for rosacea and acne, as well as eczema since it does kind of help with irritation and kind of calm um, the skin down if you are more sensitive. It does also help to reduce acne pigment, which then in turn helps acne scarring as well. It can also reduce oil and I would honestly recommend it for, uh, you know, more moderate acne and not um, a super extreme. And you can either get this in an oral supplement and kind of include it into your daily routine, or you can also find zinc in some skincare too. I definitely like when some of my skincare has a bit of zinc in it because it, my acne prone sensitive skin loves it. It always keeps my skin super calm and just helps with that redness and pigment. Speaking of pigment, let's talk niacinamide. Now niacinamide is definitely an ingredient that a lot of people love and I too myself really, really enjoy it. And overall, this is because niacinamide is amazing at stopping pigment from spreading. So especially if you have acne, which kind of leads to acne scarring and stuff, applying some niacinamide on those spots can just stunt that pigment from spreading elsewhere. It can also help with oil control, which sometimes um, induces acne, even wrinkles and fine lines and inflammation as well. I personally really enjoy a niacinamide and zinc serum. I love those two ingredients combined. So now I did just mention a lot of different acne ingredients and I do kind of want to briefly talk about what you can and cannot mix because I don't want you guys to be putting all of these ingredients on your face and getting a bad reaction. So overall, do not mix your retinoids with benzoyl peroxide, AHAs, or BHAs. This can overall lead to way too much irritation to the skin due to all the acidity. And benzoyl peroxide and retinoids do cancel each other out. So if you're using both at the same time, you're really not going to see many benefits. So try to stick to one or the other and see which one works for you. And then when it comes to niacinamide, niacinamide can actually raise that pH of your other products, like your AHAs and your BHAs, um, making them less effective. So I wouldn't really combine niacinamide with those products, but retinoid and niacinamide can actually make a really good combo. So guys, those are all the ingredients I want to talk about today. And I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for tuning in and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. You can find me on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram at Lavinia Rosanda if you want to see more of my content. But overall, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Make sure to subscribe to the Acne channel for more skincare tips and videos, and we will see you in the next one. Bye!